Hello and welcome to our latest video. Today we're heading into St Paul's Cathedral. So at the moment we're stood outside this grand building that was created by Sir Christopher Wren. So let's take a little look inside and we can see not only the exterior dome but the impressive interior design of the dome. I'm looking forward to it. So today we have come to St Paul's Cathedral. So on entry, hopefully you've purchased your tickets online. If you've not, uh, you can purchase them here. With our ticket, we got a brochure. I'll just show it up to you. And we also got an audio guide. So I'll see if I can show you. So as our little audio guide. So as we walk around, it will give us a bit more information about St Paul's Cathedral. Sorry if this isn't very loud. We have to wear face covering whilst inside St Paul's. And I'll see if I can show you the little information guide later in the video. But basically it contains a map of inside St Paul's. So let's take a little wander around. This beautiful little font here. So people are baptised in the font. So it's a sign of the Christian faith. They do guided tours as well around the St Paul's Cathedral. So if you want a little bit more information as you take a tour around St Paul's, that's a great way to learn more. So I believe this is St Paul's nativity set. So there's, this cathedral is dedicated to St Paul's and it stood on this site for over 1,400 years.
Wow, look at that ceiling. So for guided tours, these ladies and gentlemen over here with the red sash will take you around. So ticket prices to get into St Paul's Cathedral is £18 per adult and that you can get uh, child tickets and family tickets. As I said, we purchased our tickets all online, which made it so much quicker. We actually came here in uh, January so it is so much quieter, there's less queues, it's not so crowded. So definitely traveling during the winter or off season works to your advantage to have a bit more of a peaceful trip around London and in this case, St. Paul's Cathedral. Oh, this is coming up to the most beautiful part, I think. Look at this ceiling. Wow. That is just amazing. Wow. That fine detail. This is a massive centerpiece, the dome. This way. Look at that beauty. It's just amazing. Just amazing. That fine detail. It'd be so beautiful to come here to watch her service. St Paul's. It's lovely and peaceful in here just a time for yourself really. Look, a 
wonder if we can see this. So I believe this leads into the crypt. How stunning is that? So you can actually walk over it. The lights on top. coming back into the domed area so I will need to switch off in a moment when they do their service. just heading up to the top of St Paul's Cathedral. There's over 500 steps to reach the top. Doesn't seem too difficult going up the stairs, but we've only just started. But we have heard we should get some amazing views from the top. So let's go.
Certainly narrower. Looks like we've got some more steps to go up. Oh, it's look a little bit more challenging. They're definitely uneven. Okay, lovely, thank you. So, apparently, the stairs at the end here are quite steep. So now up inside the dome area. Let's go take it nice and slowly through here. So if you're tall guys, just mind your head. So this is the bit where it's going to be steep. All right, let's see if I can get up here. There is a handrail if I need it. So we've made it to the top, although we've got a little bit further to go. So I'll take you around some of the views you can see at the top of St Paul's Cathedral. This is pretty amazing, I must admit. So let's take a little look. We saw the top of the Shard a minute ago. So. There you go, can you see the top of the shard? So there's some benches up here to catch your breath. To be honest, on this uh, January morning, it is a little bit chilly up here. But on a summer's day, I'm sure it's very nice. So there we go. Look at that beautiful view. And you can actually see the size of St Paul's. So that is it. So what landmarks can you spot from up here? Let us know with a comment below. Wow. So 
So we've got a few more steps in a minute to go up. And all of this is within the ticket price of St Paul's. Oh, it's a little windy here. Let's take another look. Oh, there we go. In the there's the Thames. Oh, it's really cold up here now, with that wind blowing. few more flights of stairs. So we have now got to climb to reach the top. This. It's a spiral staircase that will lead us up. Let's see. see if I can get it. So let's go. We have made it to the very top and what a stunning view of London this is. So let's take a little wander around. So some of the passageways up here to get to the top are narrow and can be steep. So if you are claustrophobic or tall, then you might find it a little bit difficult, but generally it's not too bad. If you need to stop along the way, there are stopping points. So it's a bit of a cloudy day today, so unfortunately you can't see. Pardon? That do the Globe Theatre, yeah. Shakespeare's Globe Theatre is down there. So, we're going to be staying in central London tonight. So, we might do a little bit of a walking tour around the Thames. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check us out on social media for our latest travel adventures and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.